Waist circumference, women, men, what is the ideal measurement? A large waist circumference can reveal excess abdominal fat and abnormalities responsible for heart and liver disease. How to measure your waistline? What is the ideal measurement? In humans? In the woman? Answers with Dr. Boris Hansel, endocrinologist. Waist circumference or BMI? The reference calculation for identifying overweight or obesity is that of the body mass index or BMI. But the measurement of the waist circumference is also to be taken into account. Why? According to the WHO, overweight and obesity correspond to an excess of fat mass which can harm health. The question is how we identify it in people, explains Dr. Boris Hansel, endocrinologist. BMI has long been used as a single indicator but we realized that this indicator is quite crude because people can have a high BMI without any impact on their health. And conversely others have a BMI considered normal, but have excess body fat with consequences for health. Other indicators were needed to more accurately analyze body composition and excess fat mass harmful to health. Among these indicators, waist circumference can highlight excess fat in the abdomen, in particular the fat inside the abdomen, not the one that is under the skin but the one that is around the intestines or the liver, it is this fat that is the most toxic continues the doctor. How to measure your waistline? The Haute Autorité de Santé has set recommendations for measuring waist circumference, stand upright, feet together, arms relaxed along the body. Take a tape measure and pass it halfway between the last palpable rib and the iliac crest the bone at hip level. Measure the waist circumference at the end of expiration without holding the breath of course. The tape measure should be parallel to the floor. Note the values. Do not measure over thick or loose clothing. The important thing is to follow the evolution of the measurement of the waist circumference. Someone who has a normal waist circumference and who takes 1 cm per year must be alerted. Conversely, someone who has a slightly raised but completely stable waistline from year to year can be reassured explains Dr. Hansel. What are the ideal measurements? In France, health authorities define abdominal obesity by a waist circumference greater than or equal to 80 cm for women and 94 cm for men. Arbitrary thresholds for Dr. Hansel. The threshold does not mean that beyond that we are sick and that below we are in good health. It is an indicator that makes it possible to wonder about the existence of consequences of excess fat. And to do additional examinations. You can very well have a waist circumference of 82 to 83 centimeters for a woman or 85 centimeters and be in perfect health, the same for a man. This measurement should be seen as the possible indicator of metabolic abnormalities that can promote chronic diseases. What to do if your waist circumference exceeds the threshold? A large waist circumference can lead the doctor to order tests to look for abnormalities. Among these exams, a blood test with measurement of fasting blood sugar and cholesterol levels, a lipid balance sheet with in particular triglycerides, measuring blood pressure. We can add liver examinations with transaminases and possibly uric acid, says Dr. Hansel. Ultimately we can have abnormalities which mean that we are more at risk of developing pathologies or we can have a normal balance sheet which means that the fat present in the abdomen has no impact, the person will be under simple surveillance. What diseases are linked to excess abdominal fat? Diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, in particular coronary diseases such as infarction. Then, liver diseases with soda disease but also sleep apnea. The dangers of belly fat and excessive fat mass in the stomach can reflect the presence of abnormalities and cause the onset of diseases in the long-term diabetes, heart attack, etc. How to lose waistline. There is the visible fat which is under the skin and the invisible which is in the abdomen. This fat is probably the easiest to get rid of, it's a very mobile fat, it stores quickly but also destocks quickly specifies Dr. Boris Hansel. To get rid of abdominal fat, you must, engage in endurance physical activity with a certain intensity, duration and frequency per week. Reduce calorie intake. To do this, do not hesitate to consult a dietitian who can offer a personalized and more effective program than following any diet without medical advice. Sleep well because sleep plays a role in excess fat, explains our interlocutor. Stop smoking, it is little known but if tobacco protects against weight gain, in the long term, it promotes fat in the belly. At equal weight, a person who smokes will have an average waist circumference higher than those who do not smoke. 